All right, today I would like to look at your ex's behavior after a breakup and look at some of the signs that they're hurting after a breakup. Now this is actually a topic that I've covered before on the YouTube channel and it actually did quite well. I believe as of this filming, it got over 300,000 views, but times change. That video is almost a year old and we have learned new things about really what's going on in your ex's head and why they're hurting. So what I'd like to do today is give you the updated version of some of the biggest signs that your ex is hurting after a breakup. Now, each of these signs was taken from our real life success stories. As always, when I make one of these type of videos, I like to actually pair it with real life situations. So I don't wanna just be sitting here and saying like, yeah, yeah, your ex misses you without having something that I can definitively point to and say, this has happened for our clients or there's research backing this up. So again, every sign that you're gonna see here is based on real life success stories. Let's begin. Sign number one, your ex is watching all of your stories. So I started ex-boyfriend recovery and ex-girlfriend recovery in 2012 and 2013. And back in those days, the biggest thing was Facebook. Well, Facebook is still super big, but it's not as big as it used to be. In fact, we have noticed a huge uptick when it comes to dating with Instagram, specifically some of the rules regarding Instagram, specifically Instagram stories. So Instagram stories are kind of this interesting thing because in a weird way, it is brilliant that they let you see everyone who's watching your Instagram stories. I mean, you can literally post a story, wait a few minutes, and then see who's watching them. But in an odd way, it really sucks for breakup recovery because not only is it an addictive thing to see who's watching your stories, but it can also be a painful thing if you are constantly checking to see who's watching your stories. But there is something good that can come out of it and you can understand just how obsessive your ex is being. So if you notice, and you will notice, believe me when I say, if you're posting a story and your ex is watching every single one, it is a clear indication that they are not over the breakup yet. And yes, they are hurting. Sign number two, they're deleting most of your pictures together. All right, so what is the opposite of love? A lot of people think it's hate. We actually find it's indifference. So. It is completely abnormal behavior for your ex not to delete pictures after a breakup. That's what we found to be true. It is completely normal behavior for an ex to delete pictures after a breakup. But here's kind of what I would be on the lookout for if I was you. Your ex deleting your pictures is par for the course. It means they are hurting after the breakup. Does that mean they're going to come back and suddenly declare their love? No, but here's what it does mean. It means that they are hurting because they don't wanna see those photos anymore. But if they leave just a few photos of the two of you together, it's also a pretty good indication that they want to remember these types of experiences. So pay close attention to the types of photos that they aren't deleting, because that could be an indicator that they think fondly of this experience together. And that can actually help you when you get into the texting phase of our program because you can actually allude to that experience and bring some of those same emotions up. But again, your ex is hurting after the breakup if they delete your photos. They won't be hurting after the breakup if they don't delete any of your photos because guess what? They are confident enough with themselves to feel like they can see your face and not turn into a blubbering monkey. Hey there, real quick, I want to say that if you're new to this YouTube channel or you're trying to figure out what you should be doing to get your ex back and you're trying to learn if you even have a chance in your specific circumstance, probably the smartest thing for you to do is actually stop by our website, www.exboyfriendrecovery.com or take our ex recovery chances quiz that can be found at exboyfriendrecovery.com. Now, if you're watching this on YouTube, taking that free quiz is super easy to do. All you have to simply do is look in the description link below this YouTube video and click on the link you see there. It will take you directly to the quiz where you can fill it out and get an easy answer on what you should be doing going forward and overall what your chances look like in your specific situation. All right, so let's get you back to the video. Sign number three, you experience the pendulum swing from your ex. All right, so I often talk about this concept of the pendulum swing. 
a lot of people don't understand what this is, but to put it in its simplest terms, it means your ex is swinging from their behaviors from hot to cold. One minute they are super into you, the next minute they are not into you. And a lot of times people are trying to understand what the heck is going on here. We've actually found avoidance tend to do this quite a bit because they value their independence so much. This is, again, kind of a weird way of looking at it, but try to take yourself out of your own perspective for a moment and look at things from your ex's perspective. If your ex is an avoidant type of a personality, they're going to highly value their independence. So. When the two of you begin to get kind of close again after you're going through a program, guess what happens? They feel that independence being threatened because maybe one of the driving forces behind the breakup, even if they haven't told you this, is the fact that they want their independence and they're tired of all the check-ins and all of the routines that the two of you got together because it feels like their independence is kind of taken away from them. So if they feel like their independence may be potentially taken away from them again, they retreat and then they get sucked back in and then they retreat again. But it's a good sign that there's an internal struggle going on with your ex. Again, it doesn't mean they're going to come back, but it is a sign that they are hurting after this breakup. Sign number four, going on the rebound immediately. Worst case scenario, right? A lot of people dread being in this situation. We actually think the quicker your ex moves on to, all right, so let me preface this by saying there's two types of rebounds that we found. The first type is when your ex literally breaks up with you because they've already met the rebound, they've already kind of feel like the grass is greener on the other side and they're ready to move on to that grass is greener. That is the more lethal type of a rebound, the more painful type of a rebound because it truly feels like you're being replaced. That's not what I'm talking about here. What I'm talking about is your ex doesn't have anyone lined up, they've broken up with you and they feel like, wow, the world is mine. I can date anyone I want and that one looks good and that one looks good and that one looks good and so they date. This is a way of distracting themselves so they don't have to cope with sort of the heartbreak that goes along with going through a breakup. Is it a healthy way of coping with a breakup? I personally think there's better things to do, but scientists or studies have suggested that it can actually help a little bit. Again, that's a more complicated discussion that we're not gonna talk about right now, but here's the important thing. The intent of going to or on the rebound is important to consider here because if your ex is using rebounds to distract themselves from the breakup, it's a good sign that they're hurting from the breakup. So keep an eye out for that one. Sign number five, liking or commenting on your photos. Ah, so we started with Instagram stories. We're going to be ending with Instagram's parent company, Facebook. Though I suppose this can also apply to Instagram or whatever other social media platforms are out there. Here's how it works. You post something, your ex likes and comments it. You're sitting there like, what does it mean? I'm here to tell you it means, number one, they're still thinking about you. Number two, they're trying to make it look like they're not hurting after the breakup. Number three, they're probably hurting after the breakup. Now, there is a bit of a fly in the ointment with this concept because if your ex is liking or commenting on your photos and it's been like 10 years since you've dated or let's let's say like two years, it's been two years since the two of you dated, it's more of an indication of them being nice. If it is six months after the breakup, there there is some intent behind there. There is something to it. Does it mean you should obsess about it? Absolutely not. But it does give you an intent or an idea of what's going on inside internally. A lot of times people don't realize that exes hurting after a breakup is not something that they're going to voice to the world. They will hide this from people. They will hide this from the people in their lives that they respect and care about the most because especially if you're dealing with a male, there's almost this false idea that men need to be problem solvers. They don't need to show emotion. They need to be strong. And what's weaker than a man blubbering about his breakup? So if your ex has this internal narrative and they're a guy that they need to be strong and they can't show emotion and they need to be just iron, they're not going to be showing or dictating how they're feeling to anyone close to them. But it does leak out every once in a while. And sometimes liking or commenting on photos is a way to do that. You can also see this happen a lot if you are like out on a date with someone and you post a photo. There's a bit of a jealousy thing that can kind of come into play here, but we're just like looking in general. 
All right, so if you're sitting there and thinking like, okay, well, where do I start here? Like I'm interested in winning my ex back or I'm interested in just learning how to win my ex back. You should probably not try to get your ex back yet. The first thing you should probably do is figure out what kind of chance you have of getting them back. And doing that is actually pretty simple because we put together a special quiz on our website, www.exboyfriendrecovery.com that's designed to basically answer this question for you. So if you want to take this quiz, simply look in the description below this YouTube video and click the link you see there. All right, I'll see you guys next time.